So basically what I'm gonna show you guys is how to use the parallel switches and series switches in order for you to combine your voltage or if you wanna just remain at 36, you can use a series switch and just double the runtime by doing that. So let's go ahead and start with these. It's two different pairs. You get two of them in a pack. Now, this is what you wanna use if you wanna combine two battery packs and make 72 volts out of it. You wanna simply use one of these right here. This will go to one battery pack. This one will go to this battery pack. This end will go to your controller. Now you can connect them, test it with your multimeter, and right here at the end, you'll get 72 volts. This switch here is a parallel switch. Now, connecting this will be the same way. This side will go to this battery. The bottom one will go to the battery pack on the bottom. This part right here will go to your controller. Testing this with a multimeter at this end you will still remain with 36 volts. However, your run time will increase, it'll double. So say these battery packs are 40 miles per charge, at least that's what the website claims. Two battery packs in parallel will give you 80 miles per charge. So just in case if you plan on doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and connect these now that way you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this. I'm gonna start with our series switch. Go ahead and connect this now. Okay, so as you just seen, I just did a voltage test on those parallel switches and the series switches. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do my, my 72 volt setup. This is my controller that goes with it. I just painted it black. Um, if you can see at the opposite end where my connectors are, I have all my connectors set up. This is my throttle self-study and this is just a ground wire just in case I want to set up my headlight and my backlight I could just tap into that right here as you can see everything is also plug and play my motor three-phase motor wires and then my hall sensors these right here are my hall effect sensors just made them plug and play now I could just disconnect everything if I choose to go back to my 500 watt controller I could just do the same thing just disconnect it and connect my clips without doing any soldering or anything extra like that so that's it man so this is it this is the end of it so this is what my setup looks like 72 volts I could put my multimeter in this and it'll read 82 volts that's because it's at a full charge now let's say for example in my case right now I don't have a 72 volt charger that'll supply 72 volts to keep my packs where they need to be at. So a simple hack you can do is simply take off this series connector, unplug it from this battery and unplug this side from this battery and simply connect this parallel connector. Now all you're gonna do is connect both of these ends. You're not gonna worry about this end. As long as both of these are connected, one to this battery, one to this battery, your batteries are in parallel. You're able to charge both of your battery packs using this 36 volt charger. So just in case, man, if you don't have the money for it or whatever the case may be, if you just wanna purchase the controller and then, you know, that be it, you can do that. As long as you have these switches, parallel and series, I'll go ahead and drop them down in the description below. Sorry for the noise in the background. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit that notification bell. 
That way you guys can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a banger, man. All right, I'm out.